Okay, so today's notes are putting everything together, the explicit and the recursive equation. Now you have actually done some of these notes before on page nine where you did the same thing, but here we were only finding the y-intercept. Today we're going to find the y-intercept, we're gonna find the slope and write that explicit equation, write that recursive equation. So take a minute to copy everything down. You can hit pause or just go, as, uh, go along as we um, do the video. First problem, my puppy weighs 15 pounds and will gain half a pound every month. So he's gaining half a pound every month. So I know that's what's changing. And he started with 15. So the next month he's gonna weigh 15 and a half and to 16. So at the beginning he was 15, after one month, after two months. Your slope is what it's changing, is positive one half. Your y-intercept is the starting amount. So he started with 15. Put it all together and again, you're only plugging in your M, your B, Everything else ex stays exactly the same. So the explicit is f of x equals 1 half x plus 15. Recursive f of x equals f of x minus 1 plus 1 half. All right, next one. It says, I have made 10 math videos and I make six new videos each week. So I started off with 10 and I'm making six more. So the following week I would have made a total of 16 and then a total of 22. So at the beginning I started with 10 so your explicit is, well, let's find our information. Our slope is six, our starting value is 10. So again, we're only plugging values in here. So f of x equals six x plus 10. Recursive f of x equals the previous term, that's f of x minus one plus six. Really similar, this one is showing you how your um, problem is growing every time. This one, you could find the 10th term, the 12th term, any given term. Okay. All right, next problem says, I have $300 and I'm spending $20 on gas each week. Uh, let me change this. This is weeks. Let me change that to uh, weeks and money. Okay, so weeks. In the beginning, I had $300 and I'm spending $20. So how will I, how much will I have the next week? 280, then 260 in the beginning after first week, second week. So what's your slope on this one? Because you're spending money, that means that you're, it's negative 20. So your slope is negative 20 and then your starting value is 300. So your equation is f of x minus 20 plus your starting values. And so that's the only part that people miss is be careful that you're spending money, you're not actually saving money. And the recursive is f of x equals your previous term, f of x minus one, you could do plus negative 20 or just minus 20. And that's it, okay. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take all your notes and you're gonna use them to help you when you guys do your study guide for your test. 